everybody. Today I'm going to get my motor on ready for setting off. And it's been stood a few weeks now, so I'm just checking around, have a look around and see what what's been happening. Obviously got a few streaks on it. And um, first thing I'm doing is just having a quick look. I moved it about an hour ago, it was parked here down this side here. Um, so I've moved it across, I've left it stood a bit and now I'm just having a quick look first of all what I do when I've left it for a while is when I've moved it, see if there's any drips of oil anywhere where it's been packed and as you can see there's no there not at all, so that's okay, tyres look good, they're not bulging so they're not soft well I can, you get used to what they what they tend to bulge out at this one's good no hanging off and shouldn't be out hanging off. Tires was good. As I say, it's, we haven't done a lot in it. It's only done four thousand miles since we bought it. it brand, uh, from, it's only done four thousand miles since it was brand new. Same again here. Just have a quick check round. Tires look good. Everything looks good underneath. Good, no nails in the catchy on it. Quick look underneath, everything looks okay. It's quite well actually. Now sometimes what you've got to watch for on these Fiat's particular, for on my last one, exhaust rubbers. Used to go on them. I can see some there. Uh, they look like that. <laughs> yeah, the rivers look fine, they're not perished. They perish very quickly. Oh, everything looks good. No oil leaks, everything looks like new. Not good on your knees. Every now and again you need to do these things. Right, next thing. Let's dip the oil. level it's not it's not low but it's getting ready to top up that's not right level it's good well, that's good there so that's what was down there and your dipstick is this one Good enough. Don't need topping up this down. Quick wipe round. Got a little drip there. And everything looks good under there. 
and I'm happy with that. Yep. Thing. We're going to clean, isn't it, Charlie? We're going to give it a clean, aren't we, lad? Huh? Just to have a look. Let's we'll see what the charge is. So it's showing sure off. That's just ledger battery. What the. Um, uh, the solar panel that roof has just been keeping it, so it's about half. And that's your vehicle battery, which is all the way up to the top. So that's good. So we'll turn that off. Everything looks good. No leaks. And so it's been stood a while and had a lot of rain. No leaks anywhere. Right, the next thing, we're going to give it a wash. Relief step out, so we're going to give that a wash as well. And remove, remove this bit. Hopefully, I can do it. Should do with it. Right.
Hmm. See what we can do with it. Sometimes what I do is I give it a wash on the main, main at van. And then I'll come back and open all the doors, etc. And go around round door separate like that. Same with all the outside compartments, back compartment. And bike rack I usually do separate, we never use that bloody bike rack. I really do wonder if we didn't talk to take it off. You never know one day I might buy some bikes. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you soon. Now, there might be one or two of you who've noticed while I've been doing washing me motor on that right up on top, up there. As you can see, there's a bit of muck on top. But this time we're not actually going off for long, so what I do is, every, every now and again, I get it up to transport yard, a couple of miles away, and I get a lorry down outside of that, really close, like within sort of four or six inches away, parked outside of it, and I stand on top of that lorry, and then I can get to all of it. But the opportunities of doing that are not that often, so I'll just do that now and again. So we're just getting ready now. I think another couple of hours, we'll be on our way. So I'll be putting another video on soon, so get ready. <laughs> See you now. Bye.